Welcome to American Self-Defense Concepts. I'm Nick. I'm Doug. And welcome to Weapons of Opportunity. Welcome back to another episode of American Self-Defense Concepts, Weapons of Opportunity. I'm Nick. I'm Doug. All right. And today, we're going to be going over a little kind of camping utility set of, made by Schrade. So in this set includes a hatchet and a knife. And a coat sticker. <laughs> you kitty, kitty, kitty. This uh, set was purchased at Cabela's, and I'm sure you can get that in any major retail sporting goods such as Next Gen. Mm -hmm. Shout out. Shout Peace out. out. <laughs> uh, this set includes a nice little hatchet, nice rubber grip. They are sharp. I have not tested the edge to see how well they last. Both of them have really, really nice grips. The purpose of the rubber grip again? You know, they're going to advertise it as outdoor, you know, camping gear. So if it gets wet, it won't slip in your hand. Yeah. If you're using it for self-defense, it's not going to be water. Exactly. And. Unless you've got a big leg, <laughs> that's gonna be an awful hard to use. But yeah. anyway, back to the topic at hand. So yeah, the knife's a little big. I do like the size of the the hatchet though. That's a pretty good size. It is a little hefty, but that's not a bad thing either. I mean, it'd be good for hammer motion with that back part anyway. Yeah, I mean if you're truly using it for camping and you know that that's great for small limbs and branches and arms mm -hmm. might be a little tough on the legs <laughs> oh we should have brought the shovel then you can bury it too yeah didn't think of that damn it <laughs> overall the I don't know. I, I'm. I think the knife's a little long. It's. It's a. It's still a good. I mean, if you're hacking through, it's smaller version of a machete type motion. It would work on small twigs and things, but like I said, I have not had it out to see how well the edge of the blade is going to hold up. You know, if you whack some solid little branches, it might. Yeah, you might definitely be playing with your stones a little bit. Yeah. But I, the, the, hat, the hatchet's why I bought the set. It's a good it's, hatchet. It's a good hatchet. It comes with a nice protective feather so you can throw it in your trunk or you know, you're next to the body. <laughs> True story. <laughs> uh, blade wise, like I said, I, I really like the grip on this thing. Yeah, they both, I mean, between the hatchet and the knife, I mean, the, the rubber grip and even the way it's designed just fits nicely in your hand, and um, I, you know that's not going to go anywhere. Right. <laughs> and then the kit, I paid 30 bucks for the kit, which included both, and they had some with blue on it and some with orange, but you know me, I black. Black on black. Black on black. Gotta have the black. And... Like I said, I would almost guarantee you you can find these at other sites. Probably at a, you can probably find them on Amazon. I didn't even look. Yeah, I'm sure you could. But even back when I bought these, these are a couple of years old. They had really good reviews on them. Even back then, I just figured it'd be nice. Because uh, the one thing we, <coughs> pardon me, the one thing we always tell women and people in general, instead of putting a gun next to you, have a edged weapon by your bed. That way you don't actually, actually, I can't, I can't freaking talk again. <laughs> 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 anyway.
Anyway, take 26, <laughs> wherever we're at. Uh, it's good to have an edge weapon by your bedside, you know, depending on if you're a light sleeper, a heavy sleeper, you know, they always say keep a gun to where you have to get up and get it. But even with that theory, that way you don't shoot your spouse accidentally when they come in from peeing or whatever. Thorn broke in my house, you know. <laughs> yeah. But at least having that there, I know of a 65 year old woman that was attacked, and all she had was a paring knife by her bed. And she managed to fend off the attacker. And you know, I mean, as soon as the attacker sees gun, I mean, they're automatically either going to go, on, like, well, depending on who it is, and what their intent uh, is. Intent is. I mean, if they have a gun, they're just going to shoot your ass first. But it's like with a knife, at least you have that option to keep it concealed until they at least get close to you, depending on what their intentions are. Right. Edge weapons are scary. <laughs> yes, they are. They're actually really handy. Yeah, I, I've got three of them placed strategically around the bed. So depending on how I'm sprawled out, I've got one in arm's reach. Other than that, like I said, they, they sell us survival camping, outdoorsy set, and I'll be looking probably the, over the next week just to see what else is out there, and I'm always looking at for edged weapons. Love them. Mm -hmm. And hopefully... Like I said, I originally bought it for the, the hatchet. That thing is... It's just the right size, yeah. and it, I mean, it's, you know, that one's good quality, and it, it's not going to yeah, so even on you. Yeah. If you grabbed it and hit somebody with the back side of this, I mean, the, a female can handle this one. Mm -hmm. and, and it's, it's heavier than it looks, though, too. Because <laughs> you think it'd be lighter, but man, once you get a hold of that, like I said, you can feel the heft in that, especially through this back side here where especially where that hammering part is it's like that would do some damage <laughs> right. even if you didn't if you keep it in the case even in the case you hit with that back side that baby's gonna do some damage yeah but even what what we do and what not it's like there's so many applications you can use with the, the hatchet in itself i mean Hatchets are good weapons. Yes, they are. Very good weapons. Yeah. The tomahawk version from the Native Americans is equally, mm -hmm. if not more, yeah, it's, a, it's a good weapon. Yes. If you know how to use it. True story. But yeah, that, that same principle, even a lot of your military and first responders generally either have a version of this or a tactical strapped on somewhere. Axes are awesome as a weapon and as a tool. This might cut a good, good onion. Yeah. Like I said, it's pro it'd probably work well on light debris in your way, in your path. Personally, as a self-defense weapon, I think it's a little bit too awkward, a little long and awkward, but if it's the first thing you grab and shove it through somebody's ribcage or through her leg or whatever, it's going to do the job. I mean, even with like, the, at least it'd be good at least yeah, keep your distance. Slash motion. If, Somebody startles you in your sleep, and you—that's you, the first thing you grab. At least you got a, a slash motion with a little touch to it. Yep. Because I don't know about you, I'm a heavy sleeper. It oh, takes it a lot. Two of us. <laughs> and besides that, if I if I can get up to grab my stage gun, I have no use for these. Slice them and dice them.
Blown away. Either way, they're leaving in a body bag. Yeah. So back to the moral of the story. It is a good little handy set. I said, if you do any camping, that in itself is worth yeah. spending the money on the package. And like I said, you, most people will find a good use for that. So, I mean, even the design of these nowadays, that's almost like really the only t tool you will need for uh, camping, really. You got your item to cut through, you got your hammer. There's a lot of things you can do with a hatchet. Even the even the case has a feed so you, so you can wear that on your, belt. on your belt and make it fairly quick, easy access. I mean, if you're out playing in the woods, running into Jason. <laughs> This one as well has, so you can slide on your belt. With the length though, I'd almost like to see a uh, leg strap. A leg strap. I can totally see that. Right? <laughs> you want to see something big black? So even at belt level, Stick my ass in your face. Oh, I wonder if I can fart. <laughs> With that in there, that's going to be bouncing. If I'm walking, yeah, it's going to beat on you. I'm going to have to clap. <laughs> I see I that. <laughs> no. <laughs> you turn the door knob three times before you come in. <laughs> Other than that, uh, like I said, it, it is a fairly quality tool. And I don't know how much you're going to actually get out of this video because most of it's not editable or usable. I don't know either. <laughs> <laughs> but like I said, if you're looking for a set, a set for a, a, a good cost, you can definitely, this would be one of them that sticks out. They got other variations. I think you can buy this just by itself. But for a couple extra dollars, you can get the set and have something to clean your toenails with. Giant toothpick or something to cut that big, nice, juicy steak at the end of the day. Huh? Like I said, grips are awesome. Mm -hmm. So on a scale of one to five, if we use a five star, not knowing how well the blade wears, I'd still give this a four. That little booger feels good in the hand. Mm -hmm. And all the all BS aside, that's not a bad blade. I mean, I'll probably go with a four on that too. Just, I mean, just for me, really getting to mess with them here. So, like I said, like I said, they got a good feel. I mean, they look like they're pretty well made. They look like they're pretty durable. Like I said, I mean, the only things you won't know is. Uh, I mean, even this knife, it's actually lighter than the hatchet. <laughs> it's actually pretty light for a big knife. Um, but, like I said, grip's awesome. Holsters aren't bad. But, I, I mean, you won't know how well the sharpness lasts until you test them out. So, yeah. I mean, mm -hmm. overall, I think it's a great great little set. And yeah. I'd give it a 4 2. And this is listed, this one is listed as the tactical set. Like I said, they have. Other variations of that same thing, same set. I think they came in orange, blue, green. You know, stuff that's annoying that you can see. Oh, I can see the blade in the dark. It glows in the dark. Yeah. Type scenarios. So it just depends on what you want to use it for. Uh, that's really all I got to say about that. Same here. 
Mafia will not like it. Right? Good for torture. Knuckle buster. <laughs> but that's what they got bald beans for. Right? I guess we're done. Sorry, no comedic value tonight. Right. Peace out, power of the people.